today we will be continuing within the same topic of obtaining energy from municipal solid waste so far we have discussed about the availability of municipal solid waste in india specifically and the advantages or the usages of municipal solid waste in obtaining electricity so different methods were there so first method we discussed was direct combustion or incineration in waste to energy thermal power plants now another method of obtaining energy from municipal solid waste is by converting this waste into some type of a fuel a useful fuel okay and the process that is pyrolysis and another process that is gasification both of these processes pyrolysis and gasification take place at high temperature so one by one i will be discussing it so pyrolysis that includes the heating of municipal solid waste and at a temperature ranging from 300 to 600 degree celsius in the absence of oxygen so on subjecting to a high temperature in the absence of oxygen the solid waste that converts into a solid a liquid and a gaseous product so solid product that is biochar then liquid that is bio oil and the gases that is thin gas now coming to the next process that is gasification so it is a process in which the organic matter so in this case that is municipal solid waste that is treated with high temperature okay in limited supply of oxygen so the temperature here is even higher that is 700 to 1000 degree celsius and the product that is a gas so it is syn gas or it is synthetic gas means we are getting a fuel or the solid waste that converts into a fuel okay so the gas is fuel okay now the syn gas basically it is having other impurities and we need to clean it okay so the impurities are like ammonia sulfur hydrogen sulfite okay this type of impurities are present there in the syn gas okay so we want uh, syn gas to be used as a fuel so for that we have to purify this fuel something similar to that of a crude oil we have to refine it okay so impurities that will first of all uh, also damage the equipment from which we are uh, producing the energy using the syn gas as a fuel okay also the efficiency that can also go down some may be uh, dangerous for the system which is using the syn gas as a fuel so we have to purify it okay so three type of uh, uh, systems here which can use syn gas as a fuel and in turn they can produce some type of uh, directly or indirectly they can produce electricity so three of the systems are like a combustion engine something similar to that of a internal combustion engine like the cng very common cng that is being used as a fuel in a combustion engine and it is used for powering uh, a vehicle okay so similarly in a combustion engine we can use syn gas now another concept integrated gasification combined cycle okay combined cycle means we are uh, using two processes here the so syn gas okay that is the one type of fuel and also the high amount of heat which was used in the process of gasification or pyrolysis that was taking place at high temperature so at this high temperature the heat that can also be utilized so integrated gasification combined cycle then and then last that is fuel cell the fuel cell is a direct a conversion device the input syn gas then in one stage directly we can get the output as electricity so three type of uh, devices or the systems which we have discussed here they can be used for producing electricity by or by using the fuel that is obtained from municipal solid waste okay further the link of this uh, previous uh, topic by which i discussed on the same uh, concept of municipal solid waste i will be giving it in the description as well okay that's all for today thank you